today we're talking residential treatment. Uh, I got questions about this one when I asked, what is your biggest recovery challenge? And I've been to residential several times and I'm still struggling. Or I left residential and 15 days later I slipped or relapsed. If this is you, I've been there and say something probably controversial, but I would gander, gander. All right. The majority of people who leave residential relapse. Residential is not designed to get you lasting freedom. Again, residential isn't designed to get you lasting freedom. It's a bridge or a band-aid and a really necessary and important bridge or band-aid. See the potential of what life could be like without behaviors for a long period of time, but it is not a realistic environment. It is highly controlled. I had no idea it was going to be this way. They took my razors. They took the books that I had brought. I couldn't wear certain types of clothing. Somebody was monitoring you 24-7. Couldn't go to the bathroom by yourself. You didn't eat all your food. You were penalized. It is a scary place, but it's an important place to get you stabilized and get you thinking clearly. However, your expectation should not be that you're going to leave residential and never deal with the eating disorder again. I was mistaken. Felt like I'm spending all this money. I'm going to go for 30 days, 60 days. Surely when I leave, this will do the trick. You have to have continuous care to find total freedom from the eating disorder. Immersive treatment is so important, but I don't believe going for 30 days and then never again is the best approach. And by the way, it doesn't have to be eating disorder specific. Find something you love. Immerse yourself in a safe environment with people who inspire you to be the best and highest version of yourself. It could be a creative writing seminar. It could be a meditation retreat, yoga. If you're planning on going to residential, I implore that you set up a team for when you leave. It's much more important when you leave residential than the time you are at residential. Work your tail off once you leave because only you can do the work. Residential, controlled environment. When you leave, uncontrolled environment, uncertain. The tools you learned in residential aren't necessarily going to be helpful when you're faced with real world problems and nobody's coming to the bathroom with you or forcing you to eat or cooking your food.